you see what your boy King say something on back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. In my previous video, I reported that Kiana J and Abby are no longer friends. Well, during a recent video, this is what Kiana had to say about Abby. We went through a situation like that where I just had to like stop being friends with somebody mm -hmm. because like it just wasn't for me anymore. It's just like the way that person was, I just don't need that type of around. energy and that type of woman around me in my life. Yeah. Like in life. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna follow somebody I don't like or I have like secret animosity with. Like yeah. a lot of people mm -hmm. I know are like that. And I'm just like, how can you still follow and engage with somebody you don't really yeah. like like that? Like that's how like, my recent situation, I just have to unfollow. I don't want you on my my timeline no more. I don't like the picture, yeah. I don't comment. So what's the point of me following? I if you still following somebody that you that you personally don't like or or hate, <laughs> it must not be too much dislike or too much hate in you for them because why are you still following? You still keeping up with, with what they're doing, and all that's doing is making you still like either like them or making you fight against not liking when you are you no know, not liking when you know truly you do like who they are. <laughs> <laughs> what they do because I was you want to keep up, right? Like, come on, man, you gotta stop. What is the hardest thing you've had to overcome being a successful content creator? Hmm. The hardest thing I had to overcome was learning who's really my friends and who's not, and mm -hmm. like recognizing that and like being able to move forward from that. That's like the hardest thing I had to overcome. That link to that video is down below. Definitely go check that out. But here's what Abby had to say about Kiana. But the reason why bitches beef with me is because you either gonna like me or you gonna hate me. It ain't no in between. And when you try to be in between with me, th th your true colors come out later. I just asked you that to early. Yeah, I like it so far. But it's, um, yeah, it ain't no in between with me. Like, you either gonna like my personality is too strong. And for anybody that has, that's fighting their own demons or that, is insecure about themselves i'm gonna in in intimidate them every time i come around so it literally literally just depends on where you're at with yourself because my personality is a lot and some people just can't handle that you do have a good personality but i love that about you though that's what i'm saying you either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, it really do. did you lose a lot of houston friends because of the situation no uh i only fell out with one person or hey People gotta understand though, like friends, family, significant others, people that you smash or whatever. Everybody's not meant to be in your life permanently. Some people are here just to show you something, to help, to give you that extra boost. Think of yourself like a rocket. As you going up in life, hopefully, hopefully that you're growing up and you're not just settling for, for less. Or hey, if less is your thing, take it. But if you're growing up in life, Think like, hey, we all seen rockets. We all seen a movie. We all seen cartoons and shows. When, when a rocket is going up, in order for it to keep excelling up, you gotta lose that extra baggage. People are not here to permanently stay. Sometimes they here, to, they come, show you some, give you that boost, that motivation to, to keep going, to show you like, all right, this is what you don't want to do. This is who you don't want to rock with. This is who you don't want to be to hang around with. Keep going. My opinion. I mean, probably more apparently, but everybody else that you see me friends with, we're still friends. I'm just in a phase where I'm not outside, y'all. I don't, I'm just inside right now. Like, I'm not in a phase where I'm going to be inside. Me, and really. I know it's going to be a little tricky um, because we do have mutual friends, but I'm not not friends with nobody. Like, I'm still cool. Like, I talked to Neek the other day. I talked to Carmen here and there. Like, my issue was with one person. A op to me is somebody like who do something that you could never come back from. Right. So any I do have one op. And anybody that fuck with her, they I don't. But the situation that transpired with that party was something that it wasn't even that serious to be honest, but now let's talk about mm -hmm. Carmen and Michi because Carmen gets into it when the girls on Michi so crazy for love show. So I Carmen, that was who coming. recently separated from Corey, joins Michi's show in the middle of the season. Now there were girls already there fighting for Michi's love, and here comes Carmen. Who it, I, I already knew this was coming. Cause my thing is like, all right. I mean, unless you was already planning the show, because if you look at his videos, the the different females they've already been like introduced to his channel before he dropped his show. Therefore, it's like, they Carmen come, it's like, you had your show going, you had your, you know, in your mind what you finna do, and then Carmen came, like, boom, caught your eye. 
<laughs> that was like, what do you do? It's like, do you still have your show and get your content up? Or do you just cancel everything and just try to put everything into Carmen? You no, know, respectfully. But it's like, what do you do? But, hey, you know, hopefully, I mean, I ain't gonna say hopefully, but they're probably not, you know, dating. They probably, you know, just catching the vibe right now. So, therefore, I guess the show is going to go on. But I knew this is going to come eventually. Like, right? you got these girls who, some of them, I've seen one or two episodes. Some of them seem like they're there for him. Some of them seem like they, you know, they just here for an opportunity. But it's like, what are you going to do for the one that's really there for you? And you got Carmen coming, and that's who, from the outside looking in, that's the one that you want. What do you do? recently joins the show and she's also fighting for his love as well which the girls feel threatened because they have a little history here's what happened what the fuck is she doing here i had to have a seat right there man you look good as fuck i have a question do you guys know each other before yeah we know each other yeah yes yeah i mean yes i'm answering you why why is it because i feel like y'all Oh, you come in here not introducing yourself. Like, I'm, I'm not here for you. I'm here for him. Oh, I got to introduce myself to you. I'm sorry. Comments, <laughs> you want camera time? Go ahead. Yeah, she definitely said to him. Yeah, she told that bitch. Hey. You want your camera time? I'm going to let you have it, baby. I'm going to let you have it. Damn. Damn Damn that joint Kirkin for real. Nah, fool. Nah, that nah, fool. She, she, no. The come in and say, I don't got to speak to none of y'all. I'm here for him. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, that was OZ. So I wanted to crush him. She said that. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I'm like, it, it, it was, it was deserving. I'm like, bro, dang, that's how you coming? Say no more, bro. This I nigga, know, I, I'm like, this nigga Pete and caused it, caught her. This motherfucking, she's standing on business. Well, that, that's how a woman's supposed to act when she entered her crib. Oh God, Facts, get, I ain't here for y'all. I ain't here for no friendship. Uh huh. But it's the yeah. point of speaking to anybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Carmen did exactly. Hey, I'm glad she did that. What she was, if she ain't here to make no friends, she here to get her man. <laughs> Catch out the next one, man.